So today I will show you how you can use EXR with your DevNC Resolve. I will show you my full pipeline how I use uh, EXR files of Unreal Engine 5 into DevNC Resolve and I'm using SS color space. If I just tell you a small difference or a small advantage of SS then it would be you will get more color range, more dynamic range and everything will be more compared to a PNG or JPEG. So you always have to render in EXR. I will try to make this thing as simple as I can. Basically what we are going to do is we have to export our scene or our render in EXR. So the first thing you need is you need a access config file. So I will put this thing in my website and you can just go and download this thing. And in this one you will get a JPEG sequence. You have to remove this. You have to add a EXR and in the EXR you have to make sure that you use DUA because this one will give you less file size compared to the PIS one and you have to enable the multi-layer you don't have to enable this but you can leave this thing like that you have to go to your color output and you have to add a color output you have to enable OCIO and then you have to drag this thing and then you have to just select the file that I give you so in this one transform source you have to select linear rec 709 and in the transform destination you have to select sscg so this is the setup before exporting anything into exr and then you can use anything whatever you are using like game override or some anti-analyzing or anything the main thing is exr and color output these two things are main and you have to disable your tone curve also you can disable this thing and then you can enable this one so after that you have to open your DaVinci Resolve and you have to drag drop your files into DaVinci Resolve and now when you see your files in DaVinci it will look so weird and the colors are kind of very weird so to fix this you have to just go to your settings and you have to just copy the settings of this thing so the first option is color science. You have to make this thing color SSCCT, this one. And in the SS version, you have to select 1.3. SS AMS, you have to select none. SS input transform, you have to select uh, no input transform. And you have to enable this option. And in the SS output transform, you have to select Rec 709. And then you have to just copy this setting, okay? After doing this thing, this is very important. If you're not doing this thing uh, properly, then it will not gonna work. So you have to properly do this and then you have to save this so after that you will see that still it is not looking good and it will look feared too much saturated and everything so what you have to do you have to click on your file right click and you will get an option of access input transform so in this one you have to go to your color space conversion and you have to select access cg so now you can see that you will see a proper color of these things and now you can do your color grading or anything compositing or anything so the advantage of using exr assets compared to png or jpeg is you will get more dynamic range and you can push your colors and your highlights even more than a normal png or jpeg image so i will just show you this example so in this one you can see in my scopes it is properly uh, covering all the range of the colors but suppose i want to tone down this uh, highlights like I don't like this highlights it is too bright so in EXR I can just go to my light option and I can just lower the lights and you can see I am decreasing the light of that area and you can see the waveform also I can easily tone down the highlights from the image because I have that complete data of the image in exr but if i try to do the same thing in a png or a jpeg it will it will not gonna work like that so the things that are clipped like this in png or jpeg it will be remained clipped you can't uh, change or decrease the highlights of those area so there's the advantage of exr that you can reduce the stuff very properly and gradually also. So in this one, you can see the left one is the PNG and the right one is the EXR. So in the PNG one, you can see when we increase the highlights of the PNG, it started clipping. And in the EXR one, it is not clipping. You can see the difference. So that's the advantage of EXR that it will allow you to push your image more than a normal PNG or a JPEG. So yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. I think this will help you. Thank you for watching.